Uh, peer pressure is not something easy to deal with at school. I've seen schools have departments of handling peer pressure. I, uh, the, the, the school that uh, my uh, son goes to, uh, in fact, the, the, the high school that he's about to enter, is the school that I went to as well. Uh, there is a special person in charge of looking into these matters. It's a whole department, believe me, because it's become so bad in a lot of the schools globally, I think, that they've created a special department where the child can go, confide, and it's not like they're going to be exposed, but you need to say what's happening. You know, the, 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 there are two things here. One is bullying, and the other is peer pressure. Peer pressure can either lead you to do that which is right, and that's very rare. And a lot of the times it leads you to do that which is wrong. So if people are putting undue pressure on your child, the child needs to know, the child needs to communicate, at least say it, and don't overreact. Also, I know the type of peer pressure you might be speaking about is, for example, the life we're living and the life people live. You know, there is, we're trying to, to, to guide our children in this line, but everyone else is on another line. So to marry the two becomes so hard because we cannot marry good with bad, for example. But you need to teach your child to live in an environment that might be adverse, still with good qualities. And to do that, you need to lead by example. You need to constantly communicate because I believe the education in the home reaches a deeper point in the heart than that which is at the school. Although some might think differently. We think, oh, you know, at school. School, they're going to give you knowledge, or should I say, information. And you at home, you have the social touch, you have the emotional touch, you have so much more given to you by Allah. But if you utilize that correctly, you will be able to reach the, a deeper point in the heart of the child where the child understands, you know, uh, there are schools that are non-Muslim schools in non-Muslim countries where sometimes they do things uh, that, that are un incorrect Islamically. We need to just speak to our children in a beautiful way and educate them. The less we communicate or uh, the more abrupt our um, communication is, the less impact we will be able to have on our children. The greater the impact, the less they will feel the peer pressure because then your environment uh, is more important than the environment that the peers have created. And I just want to mention one last point before we go to a question from the brothers. And, uh, and that is, as parents, it's important to choose the friends of your children at an early age. Later on, you won't be able to have a say. But what type of a school did you send your child to? Was it, the, was it a very affluent school where only the kids of the rich went? It comes with a bit of a package. You have to work a little bit harder. Because you, you might be trying to achieve something from the educational aspect and you might lose something from another aspect so strike the balance make sure you have made the right decisions for example you visit the families of those whom you trust the way they bring up their children in a way that your children befriend their children this is a very important point sometimes we have friends and we visit them with our families but their example in their home is not good enough for our children yet we become upset when our children want to be like them but we are the ones who introduce them into the house of the other like i say you have a business partner he's your business partner if he's a bad person just keep him as a business partner he doesn't have to come to your home and enjoy your meal and mix with your family and his children come and they got bad habits and every time they leave your wife is complaining and your children you know start swearing and they're learning new different things that they're not supposed to or something they're not supposed to be doing whose fault is it well you took your business partner a little bit more in the embrace than you should have so it's important to make sure you mix with the right people and you allow in your home whom you are comfortable with the fact that their upbringing of their own children would be in sync with mine or something similar to the degree that if my son becomes a friend of his son, I don't think I would have a big issue. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us. These are just some points. Remember, like I said, this may not solve the problem, but it's just to get us thinking, inshallah. I'm just sharing with you something.